Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create new background layer. Go to new and solid layer and add name background, click OK and move to behind of layers. Go to FX Presets, search Effect Fill. Select Fill, use for solid layer and go to color cube and select here, let's choose color blue like this. Click OK and lock layer. So in this time, go to layer, new and create new object for create bus movements. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. Clicization tool and move to here and select all of them layers. Let's link to null object. Select null and press S, change scale. And in this time, let's select this wheel 1 and wheel 2. Let's go to unlink. Select none. And select null 1. Let's press P and create new parts in keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can press hold shift, press page down in keyboard and move it down like this. Let's see. Okay, select first few frame, moved up, and go to again 10 Q frames, select first few frame, copy pass, and make it Q frames easy or click F9. Let's preview. Okay, so in this time, go to first second, hold Alt, click time icon for open expression, go to play button, property, and loop out duration. Click this empty title for down expression. Let's see. Okay, we have endless loop animation with only three keyframes. That's good. And go to first second, select this null, hold shift, press R, open rotation, and create rotation keyframe, chain rotation 0 0.5. And go to middle, change minus 0 0.5. And go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, copy paste, and make keyframes easy. Again, hold Alt, click time icon, go to play button, property and loop out duration. Let's see. Okay, so for create better realistic animation, select rotation two frames, hold Alt and move to left. Let's preview again. Okay, much more realistic. I like it. So go to first second. And select this wheel 1 and wheel 2, press R, open rotation, create rotation two frames, and go to 7 seconds and change rotations 10. Let's preview. Okay, pretty good. I like it. And go to first seconds. And for create reflections, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon and select rectangle tool, and let's create one rectangle like this. Clicization tool and let's zoom in here. Go to fill and let's use airdropper for choose color and change color to light for reflection. Click OK. So in this time, change shape layer name reflection and open inside, select rectangle one. Let's control D and hold left mouse and shift move right. And let's change scale like this. And again, holds control D for duplicate and move to right. And change scale. Again, control D, move to right. And change scale. Again, control D, move to right. Again, control D, move to right. And change scale. And again, move to right. And change scale. So in this time, select reflection. Hold Ctrl and double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center. Clicization tool and press R, open rotation and chain rotation like this. And move to here. Okay, so select reflection. Let's press P and create new passing in keyframe and go to 8 seconds and let's zoom out like this and move to the left. Let's see. Okay, so go to first second and go to FS presses, search effect CC Reptile, select CC Reptile, use for reflection. And go to here, let's change quality quarter, 
go to expand right and change right like this. Okay, and let's change more. So, in this time, select reflection and click toggle switch modes. As you can see here, matte here, let's track matte to window and enable window layer. Let's see. Okay, so we have a problem. Let's fix it. First, let's select reflection and press S, change scale. Let's see. Okay, and press R, change rotation. Okay, and let's see. Okay, let's fix it. Let's hold control, select this and change scale. Nice. Okay, and this time select this reflection and let's move to behind of shave five. Okay, let's see. Nice, I like it. Okay, so in this time, let's go to shape layers. Let's select pen tool and hold shift. Let's add here one line. Clicization tool, go to fill, select none for turn off inside color. Click OK and change stroke width like this and color white. Click OK. And select shape layer, let's change name road line. Open inside. Contents, shape one, stroke one, and click dashes icon and change dashes like this. And create offset keyframe. Go to last second and move to right like this. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And close settings and move to behind of layers. So in this time, go to shape layers, hold this icon, select ellipse tool and let's create one ellipse let's go to first second and create one ellipse like this clicization tool go to stroke with chain zero and fill let's use background color with eyedropper and go to dark blue for shadow click ok and move to behind of layers let's put here and change size like this and hold control, double clip and behind icon, clicization tool, and change name shadow. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And finally, let's add background buildings. Go to shape layers, hold this icon and select rectangle tool. And let's see full screen. And create buildings for background city. And this is first and next building. I'm gonna create random shape layers like this and next builds like this. Again, another and next. Okay, and last building like this. So, clicization tool and change name city B buildings. Okay. Let's move to behind of layers and select this city. Let's press P. Let's zoom out like this and create new passing keyframe. Go to eight seconds and move to left. Again, let's use CC Repetile used for city buildings and change expand right. Let's change a little bit like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. I like it. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.